was wondering if my uh, chat was working. Sometimes I have to mess with it a little bit. Hey guys. Hello, Diane and Maria. And hello, Nancy. How did your sale go, Nancy? Did you sell everything? Hi, Sam. Hey, Christy. Wow, Nancy. Well, I hope you have good luck with your sales moving forward that you can, you know, start clearing out all that all that uh, massive estate that you got. Yeah, Christy, I can't wait till you get your uh, hanky lot from Sandra. I got my two hankies. Here's the one that you had sent to me. I like this yellow. It seems very like fragile. I think it's super cute. Can't wait to like put these on something. And then here's the one Sherry Lynn uh, had sent to me. Oops. I like it has like a curved edge and the tulips are really cute. And then Sherry Lynn also sent me um uh, this like as a in her package that I got from her like with these flowers so this will be my first set of hankies that I've ever had <laughs> so can't I don't know if I want to put them in a purse because they seem too nice <laughs> but can't wait to put them out you know, and use them for decoration at least. Hello, Victoria. Yeah, happy birthday to Christy. I forgot to send you a notice on Friday because it was Friday, right? Hello, Joanne. Hello, everyone that I missed. Margaret. Margaret Gwen. <laughs> you have a fake ponytail, Christy. Here, maybe I could, like... I don't know if it'll fit around my hair. Like... I could tie it up around this one. That would be cute, actually. Maybe I could do that. Thanks, Christy. Hello, Penny. <laughs> Love that. I 
I don't know, Margo. <laughs> What's that from? Hey, Dee. I caught some of your sale while I was at work. And then I got off early, so I tried to catch the rest of it. I was trying to win that plastic um, leaf craft lot towards the end there. That looked really cute on the, my wreaths that I want to make. Hey, Jackie. Oh my God. Miss Pamela talking about the itching just got me going crazy. Started itching all over. All right. I got some ornaments from the Goodwill, um, but I'm going to show this, those after Crafty Jackie's box. Uh, well, I got two things from Crafty Jackie. One, so I got the angel came today. And it's musical, but maybe you could tell me, Jackie. I don't know. Um, is it like, I don't think it's a motion sensor, so does it just continuously go, or do I have to, like, sh I don't know, because it just seemed to keep going, but it's pretty loud, so I <laughs> hope it's not too loud when I turn it on, but, like, and it has, like, like, But my mom loves angels. And so she yeah, she really enjoyed that. And I, I kind of got it for her. So going to put it out with our Christmas decorations. Okay. Sorry, my back is killing me today. I have like a pillow behind me. Okay. So for Jackie's mystery box, I already opened it, but I wanted to show all the little things I got. They're adorable. Sorry for sh Okay. One of the, the, I think the first thing I opened up in there was this ornament, which I, I opened it with my mom, and sh I think we actually have something similar to this, but this is in much nicer shape than the one we have. All the threads are kind of starting to be all fuzzy coming out, but I'll definitely have to put this, put a hook on it and hang it up on the tree. And then D always does find the best stuff. And then most I put like everything inside this little tin that Jackie had in the box um, with these birds. And it says, on the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. And almost everything fits in here. So I have, let me show. I got, there's this little bear ornament, which I thought was funny because I got it from uh, Stephanie Thrifting Adventures Mystery Box. I got um, some little Christmas bear ornaments as well, so I can have like a whole bear theme going on uh, on my little Christmas tree I have over there in the corner. Um Here's another little guy. Uh, 
Yeah, my brother saw these and tried to nab them for me already. He's like, you already have bears in the other box. Let me have those. I was like, oh, I paid for these. <laughs> You're getting enough presents. Um, and I got this little Santa guy. I think now I don't know much about like what the things are, or, like how old they are, but I can tell this guy's got some wear on him. So he's got to be older, but starting to, you know, watching all you guys and finding out more and more about these. Thought this was a cute little Santa. I don't know if he was like previously like on a um, floral pick or something like that because it seems like the stick is like it was like on a longer stick. But love that. And then I got trying to get used to the camera. Like I got this little Santa. I like it. I didn't know, like, if it was, like, a, I don't know if you was, used the word patina on something that's not, like, brass or metal, but that's what it kind of looked like on the beard here. But then I thought, oh, maybe it's meant to look like it's carved wood. Like, but it's not wood, but love the little Santa. It's really, like, an old style no, he's not wax. Um, no. It, it feels like a porcelain. Like painted porcelain kind of. But. I love it. Hello to anyone that I've missed while showing. One sec. Hey, Annie P. Oh, sorry. Um, no, I think the little Santa is plastic. He doesn't... He seems pretty solid. And then... I got this thing here, which I think may have been glued on top of something else, so... Maybe I can um, upcycle it into something else as well. There's a little Santa. And he's got his little, like, elves decorating the tree. And they're, like, a little recliner. Let me change sides. So you can see Santa's face there. Oh. I love this one. Actually, something like this would be great. Hey, Misty. Hey, Katie. I think something like this would be great, like on um, like what Sarah or the crafts that I plan on doing. I could put this on the top with like the fake snow, and I, I want to get some like evergreen, fake evergreen pine pieces to add some depth in there. And then I also got an Avon chapstick, which I don't know how she knew, but I'm obsessed with chapstick, so I have so many. And I just found one in my washing, in the washer, so I'll have to replace that one. Then, oh, thank you, Katie, over here. I actually wore this in an interview. I think um, it's vintage. It's one of my mom's old pins. Um... So I thought I, my brother bought me a beanie because that's like one of the things I wanted for Christmas, like a knit hat. Because with my curly hair, sometimes it just gets a mess. So I thought, oh, that's a way I can start wearing my pins or brooches. I can like pin them on the like cuff of the hat. So that way, at least I could be getting use out of them if I don't always have wear them on my shirt. Because I'm always afraid I'm going to like rip them off. <laughs> And then I got this ornament as well. It says, a grateful heart sees many blessings. It's like the little 
stars here are raised up. I kind of like this. It almost has like a sand dollar kind of shape. You could put this in some like coastal decorations. Sorry, my lighting is kind of horrible, but if I turn on that lamp back there, it like washes out everything. But I thought this was really cute. Yeah, I know. We got to start bringing the brooch back. Like, uh, who's doing that? Uh, Sir Selena from The Recycled Life. Yes, yes. And then got this little, like, do you still call this a doily if it has fabric in the middle? I'm not sure, but I love the shape of this. Oop. Like, but I love the little shape of this and, like, the linen color center. Hey, Kim. Kim Taylor's one of my real life friends, so <laughs> say hello to her. She's new to coming to the sales, and so last week she checked out Thrift You and Miss Pamela, and she's been making their rounds, checking you guys out, finding out about the sales and the lives and everything as well. Okay, that is a doily. Thank you, Christy. I just didn't know if, like, it had a different name since it has, like, but I love this. It would be perfect, like, with a candle on top of it. And then the last couple of things in the mystery box are these couple of pins, which is where I kind of got the idea to put them on the hat because I think it would look great. Um, Thanks, everyone, for welcoming Kim. That's all there. This community is amazing. Like, everyone participating and sending the plate to Nate. I wish I would have made a Thanksgiving post. Because I try to post something, like, you know, around Thanksgiving. But maybe I still need to. But everyone chipping in to send the plate to Nate all the way to New Zealand. And just, like, everyone, you know, paying for it and sending stuff to all the other people in this group. It's I just discovered you guys like less than three months ago and it's just been amazing like like the generosity and everyone's so sweet and like so kind like and you don't see that much anymore so it's really nice to just randomly come across this group that where everyone is so nice <laughs> I don't think Nate got the plate yet but I know we paid we started paying, so hopefully it's on its way there. Yeah, that's another crazy thing to learn about the group, too. Um, like, oops, sorry, not that one. <laughs> but how many different people in this group, this community, have been affected with, you know, sickness, illnesses, cancer... So I really appreciate all the support you guys have given me or have mentioned about my mother. Thank you, Christy. It was really, I started because I'm like, I discovered Miss Pamela. And then um, I was like, people are selling stuff on YouTube. And I was like, I didn't know this was a thing. And then... Like, I just searched on YouTube live sales and came across, I think, Patrick, who you know, lives nearby. And then I think through him and just searching, like, live sales, I found more and more people. So then I'm like, um, you know, I'm like, I don't know what days all these people are on. I'm like, let's just make a calendar if it's if I am able to do it easy enough. So I was able to just, you know, make like a grid in the computer. And to me, it's like, at least right now, it's not that stressful, you know, updating it. And I feel like it's helpful. And I'm glad everyone, like all the things that I've gotten, I really appreciate it. You know, 
you know, that way at least like people like Kim that are new to this can know when people are coming or going on, but there's been so many lives lately. Um, yeah, D, it was in one of Patrick's sales, I think right before the, the Dachshund Rescue one, and he had a Wedgwood Christmas plate with Nate's, like, date, or I think his year of birth was on there, and I said, we should get it, and, like, you know, chip in together for the shipping to send it. Like, as a half joke, but kind of serious. And then all of a sudden, everybody started saying, like, yeah, I'm all for it. And we got up to, like, at least 30 people, I think, in the this community who shipped in, even though, and the shipping ended up being more than we thought. Um, but still, not terrible. I mean, I think it came out, like, less than to $7 a person. And... I think it's just awesome, like, so many people wanted to participate, and more and more people, when they found out a bit about it, participated as well. It's just amazing, and Nate is so sweet and so helpful with everyone. Yeah, I can't, I can't wait to see you at some more sales. Oh. Yeah, sorry, I thought everyone had... A I'll have to show the post. Um, I'll repost it again so you guys can see what the plate looks like. I believe it had like, um, I don't know if Windsor is right, but I, there was a castle on there in the traditional like blue and white. Yeah, Katie. <laughs> yeah, D, the plate was like $12 and then the shipping they said was going to be like $150 and then the Rustic Fox where Patrick's booth is at was being the one who was shipping it so they were like uh like Patrick's like I don't even know if they ship internationally but Aaron um the collection vintage is the one who actually kind of like took over took the reins and she paid for it up front and then invoiced all of us. So I don't know what the exact total was, but yeah, it was probably closer to that, but which is crazy, but we all love Nate. So I hope he really enjoys the plate. I know he's been going through some stuff lately. <laughs> I know. Okay, it was Windsor Castle. Yeah, I thought it was just, it'd be sweet. But I didn't expect so many people to join in. I think this is my first live with 22 people, so that's awesome. Let me see what I missed, if I missed anything. All right. Okay, let me get to the last uh, two things from the mystery box. Yeah, Nate knew about it, and he's like, don't do that. <laughs> he's like, are you serious? And I was like, we all love you. Like, why not? I mean, if everyone wants to. Like, all right. So there's this Christmas tree pin. Which I really love. Oops. And doesn't say anything on the back. I don't know if pins are usually marked or not. But I might, these ones are good size that I might wear them on my scrubs at work. And here's a little candy cane with a bow. This is more like a pin, just a, I don't know what you call that, like a prong bag. Just like a stick pin. But really adorable. So those I might start wearing on my scrubs in December at work. Okay. And then, so I have a whole bunch of 
ornaments now. Maybe you guys can tell me because I don't really know if they're just vintage looking or like vintage inspired. But I've got, um, I work at Osco, um, like a grocery store chain uh, in the pharmacy. I'm a certified pharmacy technician. So, um, so yeah, our pharmacy, we have to wear like scrub tops and, um, yeah, so like I type and fill prescriptions and ring up people and tomorrow I have to work on the order, which we didn't get an order because of the holiday when they usually always auto ship us an order. So it's been a really interesting week weekend since we only got six items on Friday, and so we're already up to, like, 50 items, like, out of stock, so tomorrow we're going to have to have a huge order for Monday, which I'm also working, so that'll be <laughs> pretty hectic. Um, thanks, Kim. Oh, okay, thank you, Deanna. She said this one has a locking back. Let me see. Uh, I live in Illinois, Northern Illinois. Oh, I think you're right, Deanna. It has like the back. Oh, I got a hair on there already. Like, yeah, the little prong there cunt pulls out. I think so. That's interesting. I didn't even know it did that. Thank you. Thank you, Nancy. Who did I miss? Oh. Yeah. All right. So I got from like a Goodwill near me that I hadn't been to before. I got this whole bag of ornaments for a tune. No, three ninety nine. I think. Um. Sorry if this is loud. It's like on a plastic table. So, but I was planning on putting them on the little tabletop tree I got like right over there. But I guess I underestimated how large some of these ornaments are. Like this one. Um, hey, Carrie. It's like I have this little penguin. Um, I don't know, it's like almost the height of my hand, but it's a little, when I put it on the tree, it's a little big, and this one does move, so I think that's really neat, it's all made of wood, I don't know, like, Okay, and Christy, those pictures you sent me of Tippy and the raincoat, like, <laughs> those are so adorable. Like, that middle one seriously needs to be, like, a logo or a cover photo or something. Thank you, Kim. Yeah, so there. It says, oops, sorry. Penguin. I got this one at the Goodwill in Huntley by me. Okay. One sec. Let me put these down on the handkerchief so it's not so loud. Yeah, I definitely tuned in in time to see Binks's <laughs> Jay's comment about Binks being right in front of the camera. With his tail up in the air. This little piece is um, made in Taiwan. Rust Berry and Co. Ink. Painted on both sides. So, this little ornament.
don't know what material this is. It's kind of like, I think, the chalkware. Christy, <laughs> your videos are just so adorable with Tippy and, like, your voice <laughs> that you talk to him with. It's just, oh my gosh, you two together is adorable. All right. Then this one says, Merry Christmas 2001. Uh, Gloria. Gloria Dinchin Inc. Uh, made in USA 2001. Like. It's in grade. Oh, sorry if I'm blinding anybody. It says a Merry Christmas there. It's hard to see. Oh, there. A little Santa, and there's some jewels around the outside. And I like this guy. I know our family seems to have been into snowmen lately. Had this little skiing snowman. Oop. He has yeah, some like a little bit of glossy finish, some fake snow. Oop. I keep gonna learn this camera opposite of where I'm meaning to go. I like the little hearts shaped across his belly. He's got his little bag there. And he's got his little scarf up like out in the wind as he goes downhill. And this next one looks pretty old. Um it's like a beaded, I mean, it may not be, but it's, it's a beaded Santa. Like, I don't know if, like, I get closer at the light there. Like, there's a little bit of stuffing or something in the middle. I know, usually, Katie, like, um, you know, sometimes you're, like, in different apps, you have the option to swap the image. I don't know why that's not a thing where, like, you can just swap the image so at least it looks normal to you. And that way you're not, like, going back and forth. I just got to remember, like, okay, if I want to move right, go to the left. Like, like... All right, Dee, thank you for stopping by. Get a good night's rest. So again, there's my little beaded Santa. Uh, then I have another little bear. He's a little bit smushed. Hey, Pat Hall. There's a little stuffed bear. Yeah, I think he's been a little bit flattened out, but trying to, you know, fluff him back up, put him, get him back in shape. But it's a cute little bear. Yeah, Nancy, it's not too bad until then you, you're trying to move or, like, fix something, and you're like, oh, <laughs> this is on the opposite side that I think of. Hello, Christina Aguilar. Ooh, let me show this one next. I might turn it. Okay, well, let me just show you. <laughs> so, I, this one came in the bag. This uh, glass or plastic, I don't know. The top, well, it's probably plastic, but, like, let me back up. But, 
Like, I thought since it's too big to put on my tree, that maybe I could, like, turn it upside down like this and, like, wire it to the top of the tree and have it, like, as the tree topper. That might be cute. Oh, sorry. Reflecting the computer on there. <laughs> But I really like this one. It reminds me of, like, the bubble lights that Sarah had at her sale. I think it was Sarah. Um, you know, where normally it would be here. But I can't. Oh, I think it is glass. Like, I don't know if this. Like, I don't know. I don't know enough about things. But I really like. Yeah, I think it would look so cute as, like, a topper there. Just take some. Uh, wire and like put it on top of the tree. Thank you, Penny. All right. Then this little guy, I'm guessing he's got to be a little old at least because his eyes are kind of worn off. Um, yes, Nancy, that's what I want to. I wanted to, like, DIY a banana hook um, to kind of make it, like, either paint it or upcycle it so it looked um, maybe, like, matte black or something. It would hang, like, a, one of those miniature terrariums so I could put, like, an air plant or a succulent inside it. Because I think that's, like, it would be a perfect, like, upcycle use to a banana holder. All right, so this little guy, let me, it's a little nutcracker. I think, oh. but his eyes are kind of worn off. I've seen better days, but like the back still moves. So his little mouthpiece goes still operational. But maybe have to paint in his eyes one day or just prop it up at the bottom of my little tree there. Oh, okay, Christy. See you later. Hope you had a great birthday. Oh, yeah, that's what I was talking about at work today because I have, um, since I have these bigger ornaments and I have these green, red, and silver plastic, like, glitter pony beads, I thought I could make kind of my own garland and then just hang, like, some of the bigger stuff um, across it and then hang it, like, back there across, like, from the curtain rod across in front of my curtains like right over my desk area. I think that'd be like pretty simple. And then you could just, you know, easy to take down or swap out ornaments. Uh, here's a little metal wire kind of guy. This is made in China. So this one's probably not that old, but I like this little snowman look. His body is like a snowflake. Um, there's like little poinsettias for his feet, or on his boots, but little bird on the top of his head there, on his earmuffs, this, yeah, there's like a whole bunch of glitter on the snowflake, maybe you can see it there, and a little heart in the middle. Thanks, guys. Uh, sorry, I'm running out of room. Okay. This one, I mean, it's newer. It's made in China, I believe. Or, it is made in China. I think it's newer. But this is one of my favorite 
like one of my favorite things in the bag. It's made out of like clay or play-doh or something, but it's this little glossy, glossy snowman. Like he's got little stars across his hat. A little like birdhouse and presents with a little tree. Like um it's got like little rosy cheeks. Sorry if I'm like flying up at the screen with the ornament. Alright, good night, Penny. See you at another sale sometime. But I love this little guy. Actually, it's like the size of my hand almost, but I like the palm of my hand. But yeah, I'm going to have to make that Christmas garland so I can hang these up. And then from Stephanie's mystery box, I got a couple other little bear ornaments and the ones that are like cardboard, like the little paper ones. Um, so maybe those I can hang up on the tree. And... I got one more ornament from that bag. I got this little Santa guy. Oop. Who's also made in China. A, oop. He's got like a... I love his little like felt looking beard. Oh, there you go. You can kind of see some detail in the face when I turn it a little bit. But he's got his little boots and his hanging, like, beaded legs. I think that's so cute. Like a little howie on the hat. Oh, keeps flipping around. But it, like, jingles a little bit. Thanks, Kim. Are you going, Crafty Jackie? I know. Some people are probably pretty tired. So, thank you. That's the last of my ornaments. And then uh, after I, I got off work early and was putting on some of the Christmas supplies or Christmas decorations, grabbing things out. And um, found my wreath that I made like a few years ago. Like, it's like a frame. Um, but this stuff here, like, um, the, it's like wired, um, wired little stems, but they won't stay, like, glued on. So I'm going to try to use, like, my higher heat glue gun and, like, um, glue this down and maybe... Okay, good night for those who are leaving. Bye, Margo. And good night, Jackie. If oh when you're when you leave. And then so yeah, I since these things won't stay on, I'm gonna try to glue it down and then um Maybe just using more of a sort of backdrop. I have some more leaves I got for my crafts. Uh, for the crafts that I want to do. So I have some darker red. The ones that I put in my deer planter from Sandra. So I figured I could put them in here. I have some berries and little berries with glitter I got. So I figured I can um, add them in and just kind of up. You know, try to upcycle it a bit because it's, I don't know if like the cold just got to it a couple of years ago, but like these little things don't want to stay. So, and then I lost a flower like right up here somehow, even though it's just been in the closet all year. So I'm just going to, um, yeah, Kim, I'll have to check that out. I mean, because this stuff will probably come off pretty easy. So it always could just take it off and put something else. Or, But I might just put the flowers, like, whoop, on top of it. 
and add some extra berries. But thank you, Jackie. But um, kind of want to redo this because, yeah, like I tried doing this a few years ago, and it's been really becoming a trend. Doesn't compare with Michael's, but I would love to make a vintage one like he did. But I. So when we start opening our Christmas stuff, I'm going to see if there's anything that I can use to add to a wreath like that. If it's, you know, kind of getting a little bit older to display or stained or a little bit broken, maybe I can use it um, in a wreath like this. Or maybe I can add it to this one. <laughs> So that's all, I mean, besides my craft supplies over there, I have to show for tonight. Um, and Karen, good night as well. But we can just hang out if anyone wants to talk. Or if everyone's going to bed, we can just, um, I can also say goodbye. But if y'all just want to hang out, I'm up for that too. Just see how we're going to rest on this pillow here. Is Katie still in here? All right, good night, Nancy. Get some rest, and I hope you have some luck with your printer. Oh, Kim, yeah, I was talking about this. This is one of my mom's pins. Let me take it off. Like, this is a little vintage pin, I believe. My mom's got a bunch of um, old jewelry and old pins. Maybe I should do a live on that one night. She doesn't wear them much anymore. Because mostly she's just around the house. But I thought, yeah. In honor of Katie, <laughs> I put this one on tonight. I know Lucid likes uh, butterflies as well. Let me grab... Um, I, met, I showed a couple of the pins the other night, but there was one um, I meant to show, but I forgot. All right. Goodbye, Maria. Thank you for coming. Give me one sec. I'm trying to not trip over everything here. One moment. Let me go grab those. Right. Thanks, Kim. So I showed this one the other night. Here's like, this is one of my mom's as well. There's like oop, little red eye, little red jeweled eyes. And little pearl. Some stones. Like... Here's the back. I know she's had this one for a really long time as well. And then this is the one I meant to show the other night. Um, it's missing one of the jewels in the eye, but... You can, this one has like a little green jewel. I mean, I haven't worn this one. It's whoop, <laughs> not my style, but like, still think it's cute. It's kind of heavy, actually. So maybe this one turn into like a little ornament. <laughs> 
put a fake little uh, Chris Santa hat on him. Uh, yeah, Kim, these are, those three have been my mom's pins. She's got a bunch of pins and jewelry, um, like old jewelry, like Avon stuff, and then things just, from like when she grew up in the 70s, she just still has everything because she like hoards it all, so I still have all that, so I want to maybe... I can get her to go through some of those because she had mentioned it. So maybe I can show some of the jewelry. And then this is a pin I got for Christmas. Or like I got from Stephanie Thrifting Adventures. Like it has little stones and jewels on there. Um that I plan on wearing around Christmas, but this one's a little heavy, I think, for my scrub top, but I might be able to wear, like, on my sweater that I have to wear because it's always freezing at work, um, or on my winter jacket, but I really, like, want to start getting, like, cool little brooches or something to put on my jackets. I know my mom always loved to do that, but hers are kind of kitschy and, I mean, more like craft ones than like nicer ones like this that are metal. All right, that's okay, Jackie. Thank you for coming. Thanks, Kim. So, I know, Kim, I know what you mean. I'm like, no, <laughs> I, like, because my pharmacist, she wears a bunch of pins and things, and, like, they're nice little butterfly pins and brooches and stuff, and I'm like, no, I'm too old, or I'm too young. <laughs> like, I don't want to, I'm like, it's going to make me look like, a, you know, I'm like, my mother's age, no. <laughs> But I'm like, you know, I've just fallen in love with some of the ones that I've found. Like, I love this butterfly one. Um, Christy, I also got one from Sam. Pink Elephant Parlor, a little bird that Christy had sent to me. And that one, I don't know where it is right now. I need to find it. I don't know if it went into another purse or came off the sweater I had it on. I need to look for it because I really, it was cute. It was almost like, oops, sorry. It was almost like this one, the little bug. It had like, um, I know there was like a little blue. I don't know if the body was blue, but, and it had like a little open mouth. It was really cute. It was gold with a little like teal belly or something. <laughs> but, I don't know where it is right now. Hey, Katie. Did you miss all my ornaments, Katie? I will, Cam. I'll send you a picture. As soon as I had time, like, I, I went through some of my purses and... Like, checked my work sweaters. I, I cannot think of where it would be unless it came off. Katie's so popular. She's always getting phone calls. That's okay, Katie. You'll have to... Maybe you can watch it back and check out the ornaments. Or I can just show you, since there's only like four of us here right now, I can show you some of the ornaments back. I have this little Santa guy. This lighting is terrible, sorry. Like, here's this little mustache. He's got little hanging beads. I 
And here's the snowman I got. This one's made out of like clay. Uh, you can kind of, I don't know if it'll translate, but like, uh, like on the back, you can kind of see fingerprints a little bit pushed in there from the dough. Um, maybe it's like Sculpey. Uh, oh, Katie, I was, did you see my pin? Here's my butterfly pin. I just showed the other pin I forgot to show the other night. This little cat guy. It's missing in a stone in his eye, but. Sorry, everyone, my nose is itching like crazy. Thank you, Katie. Then here's my little squished bear. It's kind of been a little flattened out. This was like good old smush tush. It's so bright. I don't know why. And then, like, here's my little beaded Santa. Ugh. Here's his little two, tiny two seeded bead blue eyes. Both sides. And then... Here's the metal one. It has like different colored stones around it. I know, right, Kim? As I said, I'm like, smush tush. <laughs> this one says Merry Christmas 2001. I don't know, Christina. I was thinking, like, maybe to start with something, like, things that'll fit in a bubble mailer. Or, like, at least maybe, like, boxes. If I start saving my boxes from, like, Amazon or the packages I'm getting from you guys. So, yeah. I said flat items. <laughs> things in a bubble mailer. <laughs> so, it's easier. But maybe I need to check out the pirate... Um, ship website so I can kind of gauge out but the shipping is the only part that kind of like stresses me a bit just doing the packaging and getting it sent out and dropped off and all that I mean besides me not knowing much but I'm just learning from you guys here's the little snowman I like his little bag. He's got little like peppermints and things. He's got his little scarf. Oh, Katie. I, we were playing some vinyl on Thanksgiving. Um, just still trying to go through the whole collection and test the, all the scratched ones out. And we found one American Hot Wax. And it has, like, a picture of Jay Leno on it. There's Chuck Berry. Um, those are, like, the two I can remember right now. But it's a... I forgot what you called it. But it, like, folds out. There's two records. And there's a whole bunch of pictures. And the music was pretty good. But it had... Um, I Put a Spell on You by Screamin' Jay Hawkins. And my mom was like, wow, I don't remember this version. But it was cracking me up while I was trying to cook. Like, I just kept hearing him scream from the other room. I want to send you pictures of it. Like, it's funny. Here's my little nutcracker guy. That is 
eyes all worn off. His hair's kind of a little bit crazy. <laughs> like mine. I think. But. And his little mouth still opens. And then I got this big guy, which I was telling them I might turn it upside down and uh, put it on as a tree topper on my tree over there. Like, there's my little tree. And, um,. Just add this to the top, like just put some wire and put it on top there so at least I could use it. I think it would be cute. Oh, I didn't make any. I just, I'm still waiting for the ricer to come, uh, Katie. But I'm definitely going to have to use it soon so I can make like. Use it for my shepherd's pie or something. Yeah, my mom still has all of her records because she never throws anything away. So we have like Elvis and there's like Anne Murray and a bunch of ones that I think are super dorky. But um, there's a Blues Brothers one. There's... Uh, a bunch of like almost like the now what that's what I call music like CDs but a record version I can't remember what the compilation is called but they have she's got a bunch of those she's got like American Graffiti we don't have our original record player anymore but I got a Victrola one I think it was off Amazon it's pretty I mean it's good enough for me probably Katie not for her but like, it's not bad, um, it came with an extra, like, I don't know what you call it, like, the needle end thing, um, and it has a little arm, so it picks it up and moves it, which I just <laughs> figured out the other day, but I'm like, okay, we need to get through this stack of records, there's so many, but, like, just so we can get through them, and, like, I'm surprised how many actually, like, because some of them are, look like they have a bunch of scratches, but they're still playing pretty good. So, that's, <laughs> that's pretty good. Here's my little peng, wooden penguin guy. And he, like, moves. I can. And there's his little behind. This little curved penguin tail back there. Super cute. Oops, sorry. Kind of looks like a Mickey outfit from the back. Uh, and then I think there's just one more ornament. This little chalkware one, I think. I know, she's like, oh, see, some of those records look nice. And I go, yeah, because you had them in the folder. All the other ones, which Katie's probably going to, like, gasp, but, like, are just thrown in the cabinet on top of the other records. I'm like, <laughs> like, I'm like, these aren't going to play, but surprisingly, they still sound pretty good. So I guess those things are pretty durable. But some of them, the packaging, you know, because... It's so old, the bottom is kind of just worn through on the cardboard, so I'm twisting about putting a piece of tape just on the inside, so hopefully it'll, like, hold it shut, but where you can't see it. And Katie, did you see, um, Jackie's All the Mystery Box stuff? I know, Kim, we used to collect the CDs, and now, like, who barely uses them? Oh, 
Okay, cool, Katie. And then I don't know if you saw this, but this is like the wreath I made a few years ago that I'm trying to like fix because this whole part over here is just like like it's just moving and coming loose and because it, it looked like so much nicer before but I might just use it as like the backdrop and add more flowers and things in here oh Kim you still use your CD player mine my electrical system in my car is like screwed up so if i put the cd in it doesn't like it'll play but then i can't skip and then sometimes it'll get like stuck playing the same song so mostly i just play like things through my like on my phone or like pokemon is going in the car but I got tapes. I don't think I have any tapes unless they're in my closet and like storage totes. I think the only Christmas album that I own, which I don't think I have like a physical copy, I have the Michael Bublé on my iTunes. That one I love, but a vintage car. Pfft. One sec. Yeah, this is the bag from the Goodwill. I got all the ornaments, yeah, for $3.99. So, I thought that was awesome. I was, like, contemplating it, but then from watching everyone's live, I was like, I have to get these. <laughs> Yeah, I'm probably not old enough to have the rotary phone or like the, yeah, the rotary phone <laughs> where you like, whoosh. but um, we have those like, we had them, I don't know, like in a closet or something that they had previously taken off the wall, but we still have the phones, yeah, that were connected to the wall. My grandma just took hers out recently. Tapes are coming back. What? See, you guys teach me everything. And here's my pin from Stephanie, uh, Katie. I got from Thrifting Adventures. I plan on wearing this winter. <sighs> yeah, let's see. I think Chrissy suggested I could put one of these hankies in my hair with the let's see. Could I think make a double knot. Anyone tuning in right now is probably like, what is going on? But, like, there's the little yellow one. <laughs> uh, I had to figure out how to do that, but it could work if I could tie, like, a cute bow. Or, like, over to the side or something, like, I don't know. <laughs> And of course it's stuck in this hair. So when are all the 80s coming back in the next decade? 
gonna have like all the neons and metallics. <laughs> Thank you. Let's see what this other one looks like. This one, so tiny, I don't know. Like, <laughs> well, probably doesn't help I have like a scrunchie in here, but, or like, could like knot in and have this, or like off to the side with like a little pin. So, Katie, you see you uh, still have the 28 pounds of turkey? Like the second one, Kim? It's good. Like, or I said tulips before, but I think those yellow ones are those daffodils. Like, I like it how the edge is now like perfectly straight. And here's the yellow one closer up for those who didn't see. See so yeah, like, I don't know, it just reminded me of like the Van Gogh, like sunflowers, that kind of yellow. Oh, that was cute. I just wear it like this. <laughs> like, I can never find anything to fit the, my size head because it's too big. <laughs> and then here is my other one, Kim. I don't know if you saw. Maybe the other night. Like, this one was from Sherry Lynn, too. She sent kind of like as a package topper. It was really cute. Oh my God. Right now I'm getting hot. <laughs> We're going to have a hot flash. <laughs> Sorry, I need some chapstick speaking. Okay, this camera is so strange. Thanks, Kim. So did you have fun with your boo all day? I know. I'm so obnoxious. Thank you, Katie. I got some, oh, I was gonna show Katie. Maybe I'll show, one sec. Here's one of my, the girl at work, her uh, mom makes us a bunch of masks. So this is one of my new masks for Christmas, like, it has like little reindeer, plaid reindeer, plaid trees. And then my brother already nabbed one that has uh, Santa's with like sunglasses on it. I gave it to him since like my friend gave me three of them. I got like a green one. Let me grab it, it's right up here. Here's like I have a whole bunch. 
Here's my watermelon one. It's too small, so I haven't been able to wear it. Um, so I'm still trying to figure out how to rig that up. And I have some tie-dye ones. Like, and, yep, he just wants to nab everything I bring home. And here's the other one I thought was cute. Like, ho, ho, ho. It's got Santa hats and uh, candy canes. I like it because it's kind of, like, loose a little bit. It's, like, big enough for my long face that I can wear at work. I just have to keep putting on my fog spray. But. And then... Her mom made these funny ones. Uh, I'm not going to say it out loud, but we'll see if you can read it. <laughs> that I thought it was kind of cute. Or am I going to get in trouble for posting that? <laughs> but, like, there was another one. That was pink and had flowers, and it says, like, live, laugh, uh, F off. <laughs> but that one I kind of want to wear to work sometimes, but I said I have to wear this when I'm out, like, shopping, thrift shopping, but <laughs> alone. Like, back off. <laughs> Let me get my thrift items. Yeah, Katie, I was waiting to show you that. Like, that's hilarious. I like the colors too, and there's little flowers on there. I was gonna wear it at work like this, like upside down, but then I was like, oh, well, some of them are right side up, so. Here. But, you know. <sighs> But it's just funny. But sometimes, you know, if it was appropriate for work, I might wear it. But, uh, no. But, I have some other ones I washed tonight. So, those are in the, right, Kim? Common Words of 2020. But I have like an owl one, a whale one I put in the wash tonight, so those are drying. Probably where, or no, my owl one is in the laundry right over there. But before I start wearing the ho ho ho, oh uh, yeah, might at least wait till December 1st. <laughs> but the tie-dye one, I can't wear to work because it, like, always will knock my glasses off. So then I'm, like, constantly trying to catch my glasses. I mean, maybe I'll just have to wear the swear word one <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> I'll wear that and just put one of the blue ones over it. But I just wear one of my blue disposable masks. But... Yeah, here's hoping that 2021 is better. <laughs> like Vinny said, 2020. Bye, Felicia. Yeah, Kim. Um, I don't think I have any next to me, but thank you. Uh, the ones like... These ones, they made elastic, but my friend's mom, too, she also made the ones that uh, have the extra strings. So, oh, I have a Harry Potter one as well um, with, like, all these little Harry... That's the one that's in the laundry, I think. Um, it has little Harry Potter, like, almost look like kid characters, but they're long enough, so either I have them, like, looped and just, like, put over my ears or I'll tie them across my head so then I can just kind of, like, slip it down when I need to. But maybe I'll have to get your mom to make me a cool one. <laughs> 
Yeah, Christina, sometimes, like, I'll put them all and hand wash them. And sometimes I put, like, the ones with the longer strings and stuff that doesn't have the metal in it. Uh, I'll put those through the washer and then kind of let them uh, hang dry. But ugh, I have to wear one every day at work and then, like, switch it out. And then today, my pharmacist made me, like, laugh out loud and I ended up like spitting into my mask <laughs> like because so funny but um yeah I hope 2021 will be different I'm trying to think so can't uh Katie gonna join me tomorrow for our pre uh pre-gaming <laughs> waiting for thrift you live chat put some of the Christmas decorations up today. The, I posted on Instagram the pictures of the stuff that my grandma gave me. So I put some of that out. Just kind of those, um, I don't even know what you call them. So they're like plastic plates. Kind of. I put them just along the wall with our Coke stuff. And put like the huge nutcracker plate behind my condiment set from Mary. Because it really wouldn't hold up anywhere else. Um. Like, so I put it against the old, like, vintage-looking radio. Oh, thanks, Kim. I'll, yeah, I'll send you a message before we go live. So I'm trying to think. They usually don't come on. Yeah, I should be home from work and dinner and all that. Um, while we're waiting for them to come on. What time... Oh, after Lucid Sale? Okay, then I should definitely catch it because I work until like 8. So I sh at least if I'm catching it on my way home, I should see it. Oh, thanks, Kim and Christina. I don't feel essential. <laughs> but I'm glad I they let my pharmacist. It was a little bit slow today. At the end of the day. So she let me off work a couple hours early. Which was nice since I've been picking up so many hours. Um, and then I looked at the schedule for the rest of the year. So basically. <laughs> we were trying to get this other girl to finish up her vacation hours. And well, it didn't look like that happened. Because I'm still working like. Um, my days off, like, every Monday through the end of the year, basically, to Christmas, at least. Um, and, like, a whole bunch of other days for the, for her and someone else, so. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to be able to craft, but I still want to, you know, craft all this stuff so either I can give them as gifts or hopefully maybe sell some at either work or here. Um, but I'll definitely have to squeeze it in maybe while I'm doing live sales. Try to get my crafting done then with all my vintage sequin things too. Yeah, Kim, until they get rid of me. <laughs> no. Like. Yeah, they don't want to call us essential, but they don't pay us the hazard pay anymore. But <laughs> definitely essential when half the team doesn't know, or most of the team doesn't know how to get on our um, I was like, huge, but um, they don't know how to work the transfer system like when we have to find drugs at another store so that like I'm pretty much the only one who does that I feel like a whole bunch of other things but yeah tomorrow is gonna be a big order since we didn't get anything Friday really and yeah Kim was saying maybe we should do 
a diamond painting on live, but I don't know. Unless Kim wants to come on with me, but it might be kind of boring to watch me. I know some people do it like in a time lapse. Hello, Miss Pamela. Are you done eating now? I'll take some waffles if you went to the Waffle House. <laughs> um, I can't remember, Kim. I know I mentioned it in the sale once, and someone said that they do watch a diamond painting channel and that I think one of their family members diamond painted. But I did show my Santa one, I think, one day that I'm working on. So maybe, or at least I could show him, like, okay. I would have to, I don't know how I would get that angle of me doing it. <laughs> I need, like, camera A, like, angle downwards so they could see the diamond painting and see, like, how it works. Because most people, like, who aren't in that diamond painting community don't really understand how it is. Yep. Oh, Taco Casa. Sounds good. We made leftover or like nachos for dinner with leftover turkey from Thanksgiving. I put like some chili on there, some green onion. Uh, I cut some avocado. And we had like leftover salsa from on the border. So that was it was, a, it was pretty good, like, just in cheese and stuff. And made, use the extra turkey um, from Thanksgiving to make some nachos. Because so we had extra chips from on the border, too. They gave us, like, four bags. Yeah, Kim. Um... Yeah, I need to get one of those, what do they call them? Ugh, like Jocelyn has the, I can't remember, but yeah, like the octopus grip thing, like you got the tentacle bendable legs, but yeah, I need to get one of those so then maybe I can do it from my phone and then at least angle it down, and then I could show you guys the diamond painting and how it works. Or, I don't really, maybe I could talk to Katie. I don't know how to do, like, the editing and all of that, but maybe I could just film a little bit and then time-lapse it somehow. <laughs> and, like, speed it up so you see how it goes. I'm almost, I think, halfway into the painting, Kim, so I also need to work on that, so probably work on it tomorrow night while I'm um, watching the thrift juice sale. But I know I can't remember what those are called. Ugh, I keep wanting to come back to like gorilla, but I don't know, <laughs> like something. I know what you're talking about. Right now I'm just on my uh, Chromebook. Miss Pamela, you'll have to go back and see the ornaments I showed. Um, I showed the ornaments like twice, and then I showed uh, Miss Jackie's mystery box that I got with a bunch of cute um, little Santas and bears. And uh, Kim, no, I don't think Miss Pamela had any Fitz and Floyd, right? Thank you, Katie. Yeah, I was watching Miss Pamela's sale, and then she was like, okay, go refresh, and then, bam, everything just died out, and I'm like, uh, what just happened? See, she brought those voodoo cards back in, and then it cursed everything. <laughs> Joby, okay.
I know, Kim, the Fat Bird fine sale, that was going so fast. And our, my internet is terrible. But, yeah, when I went back in, I was like, oh, I'm like the 12th person or 13th person down the line when I thought I was like the first one. I'm like, Ugh. sometimes it's better on your phone. So, like, if I really want something, I'll try to jump on there and get it. But, like... I know, Miss Pam. I'm like, uh, and then I kept refreshing, like, or going back to my home feed. I'm like, where's Miss Pamela? <laughs> and then I went ahead to go to your page, and then I found, or your channel, and found you. Yeah, Kim sent me a picture. She has these cute little Fitz and Floyd uh, reindeer that are doing, like, headstands and stuff. It's super cute. I know, Katie, I, you and Vinny and all those demon cards just jinxing everything. <sighs> yeah, Kim, you should have been there when Miss Pamela had these other demon gypsy cards, like her, uh, the wow <laughs> the uh image kept going all tiny and then then she would get like a green box across the top and then it was like sideways and like up and down <laughs> like all over the place she had the heck of a like i think it went on for like a couple weeks it was but we all love miss pamela so we hung in there <laughs> Hopefully the green box isn't going to make another appearance. I know in the first week that Kim comes on, the connection is all terrible. See, they must have just known that those gypsy cards were coming. Sorry. No, Christina, we... I don't think... No, yesterday they ordered pizza and ate before I even got home from work. And then today we had some um, on the nachos, but I think they're going to have some tomorrow. we we'll have our leftovers. We got mashed potatoes and stuffing and... Uh, Something else I can't even remember. Oh, nice, Kim. Yeah, I heard a lot of people doing steak. <laughs> oh, Miss Pamela, she's the best. <laughs> no, Kelly doesn't want no uh, gypsy curse on her. She'll try to be driving home and then her car just <laughs> conk out. She'll be like, see, I knew those dang gypsy cars did it. Is there a way in StreamYard? Does it, no, I don't think so. It doesn't tell you, like, if you have thumbs up or dislikes or... Kim trying to stick the bad juju on us. Let me see. Yikes. I love the images that uh, YouTube just grabs as your thumbnail when you're like half in a blink or something. I have 18 likes. Thanks, guys. 
Hemlock lady started following me on Instagram. Awesome. Yeah, I posted a new picture with the condiment set and our snowman. Oh, Kim, you might have seen on Facebook, I think, already. And I just laid a few things out. Um, put some candles out and finished putting the fall stuff away. I was, like, digging all over looking for saran wrap. Finally found some press and seal and, uh, like, wrapped up the rest of my fall floral arrangements in our... My big huge pumpkin I have full of florals and uh okay my phone just went off by itself <laughs> and was like putting everything I said on the screen but I was able to wrap up everything and get everything put away in the closets um the last one your thumbnail was a pretty flower what I don't even remember Oh, I think, yeah, I put one of my photos up as my cover photo, or not cover photo, I don't know what you call it on YouTube, but like, as the background at the top is one of my photos I took from a flower in our backyard that I edited years ago, um, more when I was doing a lot of photography. But I was like, I don't want it to just be that gray background. Like, ugh. <laughs> okay, Christina, don't jinx me. We got no, <laughs> no thumbs down. No, Katie, I can't see. Okay, yeah, the red flower. That was the picture I took. I think I have red, I don't think yellow and orange somewhere. My God, Miss Pamela, is your back feeling better? Mine is still killing me too. I know that one, the first video I did of Katie and I, um, for like the thumbnail, it, I noticed like the next day because it still hadn't uploaded that night. And then the next morning I woke up and looked and I was like, oh, that's great. Katie was like, you know, kind of like looking off and it was like a half blink. And then me, I'm like, making it was like in the middle of some kind of expression but um i was like okay how do i change this and i think i asked you katie so then i went back in and the options it gave me all were like my eyes are shut or my mouth was open like or you know not just a little but like in the middle of saying something like so i'm like okay this is stupid like so I was able to just like on the right hand side I saw you can like scroll through and I just kind of screen I think I screen grabbed it and like zoomed in a little bit and then used that and I was like well at least our faces look normal in this one. Okay Miss Pam I hope uh starts feeling better that's weird that kind of reaction. Maybe it's not an allergic reaction it was just Hopefully just something environmental, but those snowmen, Kim, I got actually um, from Goodwill on Randall by Woodman's. I got them the same time I got the moose light that says Merry Christmas. I'll have to, I don't know if I have pictures, or no, I do have a picture of that on Instagram. It's kind of like right before I got the backdrop, there's like a moose Merry Christmas light that lights up. Uh, I got all those from the same Goodwill, and I thought those snowmen were just adorable. Like, I had to buy all of, all of them. And usually I'm not like one into Christmas decorations. I mean, they buy the stuff from Dollar Tree that I think is cute, but 
those were really adorable and the moose light I loved and so this year we need to go through all of my mom's stuff and then figure out like okay what's still good what are we gonna put where because we're getting rid of some of our like we're redoing the living room kind of so we're going to get rid of the coffee table and like some of the side tables. So we're like, we don't even know where we're going to put everything. <laughs> but kind of have to rearrange and find the room for things. We have to get rid of our, trying to get still get rid of our last huge snake tank. Because that's taking up like so much space. So then I'll have like a free desk to decorate. <laughs> and then I'm keeping some of my... Christmas supplies in there. I have the Winnie the Pooh stocking and I still have some stuff I got from Stephanie's mystery box. I have a precious moments like little girl skiing. Um, I can't wait to put that out so that way nobody like breaks it until everything's kind of done being decorated or put it on my tree in here. That's probably what I should do but um Yeah, Miss Pamela's back is hurting her, and she was having some itching, and I think, I don't know, was it burning? But maybe that's too much information, but I hope it's feeling better. I know, right, Kim? I'm like, okay, I want, I've want i wanted these tables gone forever, because, like, we don't really use them besides for decoration. But, like, now I'm like, okay, we're... <laughs> Where are we going to put everything? So I was like, at least maybe if I can get rid of the snake tank and the extra desks and like cabinets and stuff, maybe we can get some bookshelves or like some other kind of table, like something or like, like those more narrow skinnier ones you can put along the wall and stuff. Like, um, so we can put things on. I know, because then, like, then we'll have nowhere to put anything. Yeah, like shelves, actually, that would be better. Get some shelves and uh, maybe a couple bookshelf-like kind of units. Yeah, the itching is, like, when I start getting hot, which I, I don't know, it's, like, anxiety or the stupid hormone things. And, like, sometimes when I start getting hot, I start getting really agitated and start itching like crazy. And, like, I just can't stand it. And I'm like, okay, everyone has to leave me alone. I got to get out of here and, like, get in front of a fan and cool down. Like, it's too much. No, Miss Pamela. Norco is a class two medication, so you have to have a prescription for that. Um, I have to take tramadol, which is also a prescription. It's controlled medication as well, but not as high as Norco. But I'm trying to think. I mean, does it leave? do anything for you because that's stronger but then you can't dose it as much and now there's new um there's lidocaine over the counter four percent so that might i don't know they make it in patches and a cream i don't know if you've tried that yet but maybe that would sometimes it helps depending on how much pain Oh, no, Christina, why not? Yeah, I think I need to start putting the Voltaren on my hands again. Like, just from work. So much pain. Uh, 
Oh, and it wasn't helping, Miss Pam. Yeah, basically any day that I work, I have to take my prescription because I just, my back, I'm barely able to like bend over to grab the drugs off the shelf. It's just so like tight and painful in my hips lately and my, my hips to like my knees have been so painful lately. So at least the tramadol like helps me be able to move and get through work. But sometimes like now it's just, sometimes you almost just need to lay down. I know it's like, we're not that old, but our bodies feel like they're like 80. <laughs> Kim, have you used this? Oh, yeah. Kim does use the CBD. I have a CBD right here, actually. This is the CBD I got from, like, Walgreens. And it has menthol as well. Um, this is what I used to put on my knee and down my calves because they're always so, like... The pain was like crazy, just like pulling, but now they gave me meloxicam, which has been helping with that kind of. But sometimes I use this across like my hands because just like from work, like my knuckles and my hands are just like feel like I'm getting arthritis already. The price is crazy, like this little thing was like almost $30, but like, I was like, that's insane, but I guess it has lasted me like months. I mean, it does go a lot longer than I thought. I mean, it's still a good amount in here, and I was using it like every single day for a while. Um, So, I mean, it has been lasting a lot longer than I thought. So, I was like, maybe $30, if it lasts me that long, isn't that bad, but... Yeah, I wish I could find something that just knocks the back pain out or at least, you know, dulls it enough where I don't have to take the other prescription. $95, that's just crazy. $95, I'd rather just buy an ounce and, like, smoke it up. Then you'll just go to sleep and then you don't have to worry about your pain, hopefully. <laughs> oh man, Miss Pam, I would love to hang out with you. It would be hilarious. Miss Pam and Sarah and Sam and Kelly. You better have your like diapers on because you'd be like peeing your pants from laughter. I know, Kim. Let's go road tripping. Go see Miss Pamela. I'm gonna go thrifting. That would be a fun time. I know, Katie. It is legal here, but I'm too lazy to drive out to where the dispensaries are. So, Kim needs to hook me up. 
No, I'm just kidding. But, like, I heard they might put one in, in, in Lake in the Hills, so that's not far from me. So I might be able to, if they open one out there, I wouldn't mind checking that out. I would really like to try, you know, see if something worked, even if it's a topical. Oh, okay, Miss Pam. Oh, good, Kim. <laughs> yes, Miss Pam, that would be so fun. Fat bird five, the D. Oh my gosh, a good time. I mean, everyone's trying to be well. We're trying to be safe, but after a while, you're like, okay, just the heck with it. I want to see my friends. Thanks, Kim. Good night. I'm probably going to yeah. jump off in a minute, too. Miss Pamela, you'll, we'll probably be on tomorrow before the Thrift You sale for our Waiting for Thrift You live chat. So hopefully you'll join us then if you're not busy. And I think I'm going to get going um, as well. <laughs> Sorry. I had to take my medication, too, and now I'm getting kind of loopy. But, um, back's hurting my ankle. Like, I think I have to wrap up for work tomorrow. Just should have worn it today, but I was running out of time before work. And ugh, my ankle is just sore because it keeps, like, rolling at work on our mats and, um, <laughs> oh, Miss Pamela, see? You got the hookup. Before a sale, that would turn into a real party. <laughs> All right, everyone's going, and I need to go, too. I have to work again in the morning at, like, 9, so I need to... <laughs> clean up these things and catch some sleep. But I will see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully I'll be able to catch up, um, jump on some sales while I'm at, you know, at work is slow, but probably not. It might be a little hectic with the order and, um, so, but maybe in the afternoon or on my lunch break, I'll catch y'all but see you in the chats tomorrow, like Miss Pamela said. And thanks, everyone, who came by tonight and jumped in. I really appreciate it. And um, I love you, Miss Pamela, too. <laughs> and you, Katie, for all the help. And hey, Dana. But I'm going to go to sleep. Sorry, I'm, like, getting loopy and my back still hurts. But thanks, everyone, for stopping by. And I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, Katie. Have a good night, everyone.